All right, hey everyone, it's Minus here, and welcome back to another episode of Assault Crisis Prologue. Moving on to actually blind stuff, although we have been on this floor before, because we've already got the chest and world changer. So, things are going to get hard now. We'll be dealing with vicious enemies, cruel traps, and terrifying puzzles. Looking forward to it! Oh boy, thanks game. You really know how to welcome me. Do you have the magic shot? I do have the magic shot. The magic shot lets you turn enemies into blocks, and we've got infinite uh, MP on this floor. So that we can try it out. I think up there was like the place where we were before, like right above our heads now that you can't really see. Sometimes you may need to use the magic shots to traverse spike floors. There we go. Making use of that. Oh, well, I want to freeze you in the middle, thank you. So we got to deal with the uh, bees. Bees. I don't like bees. So we've got to deal with the idea of turning our enemies into blocks and using them to further our progress. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm down, I'm down with that, yo. That's a skill I've got. Making ourselves some stairs! Hooray! And there's the key. I want that key. I want that key, man. I want that... That is probably way too far away, and... Has that screwed me up? I think that has screwed me up, because I don't think I can really do anything unless I can get up there, right? <sighs> Gotta be careful where you, where you freeze them bees. And I think that is the wrong place, so I'm just gonna have to die. Or leave the floor, but dying is much, much quicker. So, infinite MP is not always necessarily a sure sign of victory, as we are learning. <laughs> as we are learning, as I'm just going into total rush mode now. Rush mode is always the best mode to be in in this game. Hooray! Is that the place where we were before? I think it is, but I can't tell, you know? It's one of those things where I was just getting there, it looks like it. But I have absolutely no idea in reality. Gotta be careful where we freeze these bees. <laughs> Bee freezing is not the easiest of occupations to have. It is also probably not the best paying because, you know, there's not many people out there in society that need their bees freezing for, you know, extended periods of time. So, uh, apparently also, I have been playing with the magic shot on other floors because I did go back to all the other floors and had a little bit of an explore round. Apparently, they stay frozen infinitely long. So they turn into blocks for an infinite amount of time, so that's that's something that I have learned about the mechanics of how this particular thing works. And I'm glad to have learned it. Can I go through the wall here or anything? Nope. Just checking, because there is a key there. There is a key, and I want it. There is a key guarded by bees, and I want it. Man, this is an obnoxiously long tower. It's just like, bee! Bee! Really? Bees! Bees! Bee! 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 Look at me rush! Bee! Bee! <laughs> okay, rushing's actually working out here. <laughs> uh, I think this will lead to a key. Yes, it will. Also another infinite thing, and two doors. We have a choice of pathways. This one leads to floor 14, which is kind of scary. Oh dear god. <laughs> Filled to the brim with traps. That sounds great. That sounds like my idea of a fun-filled vacation filled with fun and frolics. <sighs> By the way, I'm being sarcastic. And where does the other door lead to? That's what I want to know. Where does the other door lead to? Does it lead to floor 12? Another floor 14? Somewhere... In else entirely, maybe that other floor 7 section? It could be anywhere, man! These doors, these doors are going to be the death of me. I should've just gone through it when I had the chance, I realise. Should've just gone through it when I had the chance, and then I'd at least know. <sighs> always go through a door. Although, I was worried about losing my infinite MPs things, and then I wouldn't be able to get back up. Well, I would be able to get back up. I don't know, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I clearly wasn't thinking. And not thinking in this game is not the best way to go. Also, not having skill is not the way to go either. You know? It's one of those things you just gotta do. Ah! Uh, 
And where does this door lead? Yeah, that's the way back to wherever we were for Floor 12. This is more like it. This is much more like it. I like Floor 12. Floor 12 is good. Yep, I've heard of this particular invention. These are pipes. And you can shoot pipes to do that, basically. It'll kind of redirect the shot. Fine. Uh, do I want to shoot that way? I can't. <laughs> okay. You want to use slice pilots when you find the need to warp your shot trajectory in midair, shoot an opening to do a thing. Okay. Alrighty. We have pipes and that's fine. That is a shooter trap. It will constantly shoot homing bullets. I am scared. Uh, there's a guy there I need. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we can extend our range. Okay, so i got to fire a green shot through there. So, okay, shots ranges reset when they go through a piece of pipeway. That is actually very good to know. I'm going to have to knock you back, dude. You are not in the right, right place for me to make progress. I'm also out of shot. Can I make it all the way back? I think I can. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to. Oh yeah, the MP block does return, so that is good. That's what I have to do. Gotta go back, refill my magics. Hopefully not die. Do risky things like jumping over spikes when... Ideally, if you can, the best thing to do with spikes is just to kind of... Econ under them. <laughs> but no. If you're feeling particularly dangerous and deadly, then perhaps going over them is the way for you. Is the way to go for you. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, magic. I just went a long way to get you. What's the point in this? I have no idea. Oh, it's for getting back. Alright. I can recognise sometimes when things are for getting back. Oh, maze of freaking these blocks. I don't like this. Why does this exist? This way... Okay, that way would have been insta-death, which I... Which worries me. <laughs> now I know there's insta-death involved, and this is a one-way door. Because I can't... Whoa! <laughs> uh, okay... I don't like it when the world explodes. <laughs> so this isn't a one-way door. It was a one-way door trap reverse thing. What's going on? Lasers are going to give me nightmares. I don't care. I'm, I'm going this way. I can see which floors I've been to anyway, so that's okay. At least, at least, like, if I go to a floor and then want to go back to it later, I can always, I, like, I always know how to get to it. Essentially because... What's this way? There was a world changer! What's the, what did the world changer do? I don't know. I'm getting worried about those world changers because they can seriously mess up your day. At least I know how to get back to places if they've already been because you can see which door leads to them. <laughs> Hi there, trap wall that's not really a wall at all. That, that would, there were too many rhymes in that sentence for my liking, but you understand the gist of what I was trying to say. So yeah, what does the world changer change? The world changer doesn't appear to have changed anything. What, what's it, what did it do? What did you do? What's happened? You've not made a sign appear. You've not changed that thing. You've not made this any easier to deal with. You've not reduced the need for me to go back and get more magic in order to progress. Freaking game. <laughs> Actually, no, maybe you have. Well, maybe I just wasted less magic on the way. So what did the world changer do? Man! I don't know. Anything around here? No? As far as I can tell, that world changer didn't do anything. Unless it did something in an area that I've not actually been to yet. Maybe it made those solid, un unsolid or something, or open the path to the chest, that makes sense actually. Maybe it did that. There's a chest somewhere on this floor and I don't know where it is. Maybe it's up there where those things are, but I'm going to have to go all the way around to get to it. Because of the way this place is designed, if you uh, get to a certain point in the maze, then you are stuck having to go all the way back, which is not that dangerous because... You know, everything's fairly easy to run past. There's no thi there's nothing shooting us. But it's just a little bit of annoying. There's a chest here. Yes. 
And we got a coin! Use the chest somewhere. Did not know exactly where. Ah, oh, and I'm back up here, so that means I've got to go all the way around again and freaking all the way back down through these. Running out of times. I'm not gonna make it. Freaking hell, at least we got the chest, whatever. You know what? I respawn at that World 18 thing, so I don't care. Did I ever go through the bottom door here, actually? No, I didn't. Why am I ignoring my advice of going through doors as soon as I can? Also, not jumping into green projectile laser things. Would be an idea. I don't know. Although, it's kind of a blind jump, so... Whatever. Floor 14. I've already been here once. So, skipping out on 13. And I can't get anywhere from here. So, we kind of have a choice between floor 14... Or floor 18. I'm gonna go to floor 18 purely because it's closer, but I don't know if this is the optimal direction of travel. Uh, as far as I can tell, all we've got at the moment is this laser trap, which we have to kind of get over. Is laser trap insta kill? Yes, of course it is. Duh, everything in this game is insta kill. Why would, why'd I even question that? that? That's not even a question that even needed an answer. There's a, I can't get past there because there's a laser trap. Uh, is there anything over here? No. Poking around suspicious looking corners? Oh no. That's the gimmick, really? Why is that the gimmick? Why? <laughs> that shouldn't be the gimmick. Go down. <laughs> That's a terrible gimmick. Huh. Rushing again works out. I don't know. This game's kind of teaching me to rush at the moment. I'm not sure if I like that. Because <laughs> as soon as it's teaching me, it taught me to rush, I'm just going to be like rushing all the time and then I'm never going to get anywhere. Checkpoint! Helpful. Very, very helpful of you, game. And that has let me do nothing. Oh, I see what I have to do. I get it. Because I have to freeze this bee while he's caught in a tree. Like there. <laughs> That's kind of clever design. I like that. I like that. That's the, that's the kind of the reason I play these kind of games and love playing these kind of games is because they always have super interesting design. Oh, hey, there's a turret shooting me. What is the purpose of you? Why are you there? Is are you just there to mess up my day? Well, for now, I will assume yes. Thank God that shooter thing can't shoot me there because I needed to wait around. Key that I may or may not be able to get to at some point. Ah, door over there that I cannot get to at this point. Ah, shooter traps everywhere! <laughs> uh, I realise that it's just kind of preparing me for what's to come in terms of shooty Danmaku, but I still don't like it. Hover dash! Enhance movement with magic. Use the dash button to activate. I can dash now! Oh jeez, that's good. That's some good dash in there. And while you're dashing, you can dash over spikes and not get hurt. Okay, but I'm all the way back here. Jeez. I could actually try using my dash here. Whoa! <laughs> um, I'm on floor 30. I don't want to be there. I want to. I want to at least like try and finish exploring the floor I'm on. You know, if I can. Can I dash through lasers? No. That's a definite no. I don't have any magic. Oh, I have to go all the way back. At least it doesn't cost any MP to dash. I kind of thought when it said enhances your dash with magic that I'd have to be, you know, going and getting some MP. Whoa, you can dash infinitely. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that kind of thing. I'm just holding down the button and dashing. Okay. Wait! Ah, oh, you know what? Uh, just real quick, I'm going to go back down to floor 4, and actually going to go back down to floor 3, because there was that one door at the bottom of floor 3 that I'm really curious about. That I'm never going to be able to get to now. It's, why don't I just go this way? It's much quicker to go this way. Whee! Dashing up spikes. Because I can now get down here! And what is this going to let me do? It's going to let me get to the 
chest on floor 5, which is naturally an MP up. Alright, and that's going to end it off for this episode because I've been playing for a while now, so next time we've got quite a few directions to go, like we've got the floor 18 that we got to do, the floor 14, the 13, I think there was like another door on 18 that I didn't quite get to, and also i got to see what I can do with dash on these floors, so next time we're just going to have some fun. Wow, look at all these upload upgrade slots, there's a lot of upgrades that we can get in this game. Looking forward to this in particular. Next time, dashing around, I suppose. See you next time, folks.